going on guys? This is Bryce from Comical Penguin. We're back with another episode of our Horizon Zero Dawn playthrough. And um We are We're in some in-game type stuff, guys. <laughs> Oh, that's dumb. Oh, that makes me so angry. I do want to check and see what's up here. Huh? All of them under repair. Okay, so I do get to just come here. That's just a fun little side thing.
is this? That's dumb. I swore I had hit where I could up there. Huh? I swore I had already... Well, that's kind of frustrating. And that's honestly frustrating. I missed that. Too close. 
Really? Mm. It's all right. Guy's complete. She'll take care of things from here on out. That's what she does. Not like this. There's so much we... Guys, you know me. I'm... I'm no good endings at letting things end, so, um... Mm. Let's not. So, uh, Happy trails, Liz. Not what I wanted to do. <coughs> well, knew she couldn't have survived, Eloy. and her achievements were beyond exceptional. Well, her people bickered. She was the one who took responsibility. The only one who could. She was better than them. That's not what I said. She was. You shouldn't be afraid to admit it. Just for one moment, stop calculating and let yourself feel. She sacrificed herself for her friends, for the future, for life on Earth. Doesn't that stir anything in you? The generosity of it. You're trying to invest her decision with something magical. It was a rational choice, not based on sentimentality. You're wrong. Remember, she knew it wasn't enough for Gaia to think. She taught Gaia to feel, to care, to sacrifice, to believe in life, enough to fight against hopelessness. If it wasn't for that sentimentality, life would have ended. You and I would never have existed. Your argument is sound. I'm sorry for your loss. She said she wanted to go home. Maybe. What? Nothing. It's time to go home. This, but mm -hmm. I wrote you a eulogy. If I had to try to express all your mm. children, after mm. all Apollo has taught them, they'll think they know everything, but they have to understand what you did for them. How you mm. loved the whole world so much, with an intensity mm. that was dazzling. It killed you, or you died for it. Different perspectives. No one could keep up with you, live up to you. I, I don't know, maybe if, if, I, if I hadn't taken that postdoc in Joburg. I'm glad you shut down the Lightkeeper protocol in the end. I don't think I could have taken seeing another one of you. I mean, Elizabeth Sobeck. There's only one. I miss you. Mm. Look, Liz. <coughs> you were a pretty stand-up gal. <coughs> I'm sorry you died. If you had a home to go to, I hope you got there first. But this monument Ronson's made to you? Kinda creepy if you ask me. Rest <laughs> in peace, Liz. God knows you earned it. How it was. I know. I know you're never gonna hear this. That's not the point. You, uh... <laughs> you got to play the savior in the motor all at once this time. Great work.
Time to move on. section at the back of the crater. Looks like it survived the blast. Because it was armored, hmm. you found the control room. Oh my I'm goodness, my I almost fell.
Where does this go? Well, this just got the creepy. When I opened the hatch, mm. the air rushed in from this side. Because there was none inside the chamber. But the alphas were in there. I was hoping to find like something out here, but nope. I'm sure this will be this will be the last hologram, probably. Yep. crazy person I uh, now I understand why there was nothing why they started from ground zero this is why this is why we were trapped in benighted ignorance for an innocent future mm. blameless men 
He never saw the slaughter in the Semarine. Everything these people achieved, <laughs> all the knowledge of the old ones, evaporated, turned to dust, scattered to the void, like the Alphas themselves. Oh. Mm. Not a void. When the hatch unsealed and scattered their ashes on the wind, it took them out among the world they made, the world we're living in. Ah, that's why this is here. What a stupid I'm so pissed off right now, man. I really am. I'm pissed. I'll be here to this stupidity right there, man. It wouldn't have made a difference if we were just taking us back here. Such a stupid thing. I hate that they put it so far out. Are you freaking kidding me? That is so dumb. You know what else is stupid? I can't see anything. Where the heck am I? Where the freaking heck am I? I'm glad that is obvious. I mean, that that makes perfect sense. You have something that's in such a uh, I mean, just such, what is, I mean, once again, just stupid placement of this stuff. You, it is so hard to find it at times. Are you effing kidding me? Uh, you're here. For a moment. Mm -hmm. What? Our journey together has come to an end, mm -hmm. Aloy. But before I go, I think mm -hmm. I owe it to you to tell you the rest of the story. Oh. Some time ago, I admitted that I'd been... Mm -hmm. Involved with the eclipse. But I never told you the full extent of my culpability. The truth is, I was there at the beginning. Mm. I found Hades Aloy, 
buried on that mountain, trapped in that shattered tunnel. And I served it. What? It promised knowledge and delivered it. Such knowledge, you have no idea. And in exchange? I helped create the eclipse. Helped it build a cult, an army to do its will. Why are you telling me this now? Because your success depends on knowing this. When I found Hades, the first thing it wanted to know about was the spire. Not Meridian. The spire. Now why would that be? The spire was created by Gaia. Which part of Gaia? M Minerva. It's code-breaking module. Gaia built spires to transmit the codes that deactivated the Pharaoh robots, shut down their biomatter conversion systems. Hades wants to send a new transmission to wake the machines so they can devour the world all over again. Yes. Based on what we've learned, that's my conclusion as well. So the Eclipse, the robots they've resurrected, they're just a means to an end. An army to capture the Spire. Yes. So Hades can exterminate life all over again. Unless you stop it. I want you to tell me everything. <laughs> Hades, the Eclipse. Everything. It's a long story, Aloy. Then get started. It began with a focus. Recovered from an ancient lore, as yours was so many years ago. In my case, the device was heavily damaged. There was just a flicker of life in it. I spent weeks studying it, attempting repairs, until finally, I succeeded. A whole new dimension of perception revealed, right before my eyes. That's when I detected it. A faint signal. Out there, something was searching, just like I was. Kindred spirit. <laughs> I followed the signal to its source. A shattered titan buried in the jungles of the jungle. <laughs> so you thought it was a titan? An old war machine? I didn't know what to think. I'd <laughs> seen such wreckage before. The grave horde, for example. But this was different. This was not quite dead. It couldn't speak when I found it until my repairs gave it a voice. <laughs> so began an exchange of knowledge. We wanted to know everything about our world, its tribes and machines. But the spire was always its <laughs> foremost concern. What did it want to know about the spire? Its precise location, the surrounding geography, who controlled the land, Meanwhile, Hades revealed to me many of the intricacies of ancient technology. It bid me to recover and repair more focuses. Before long, I had a couple dozen up and running. Enough to equip a small army. The commanders of one, anyway. I didn't care. I was learning so much. Physics. And the Shadow Karja? How did they mm. become involved? The Karja Civil War was a happy coincidence. A perfect opportunity. <laughs> An opportunity? That's what it was to you? Yes. Overnight, half the tribe was in exile, desperate to win back Holy Meridian. Their religion made them easy to manipulate. All I had to do was present Hades as the buried shadow of their mythology. So, yes. It was an opportunity. I arranged for High Priest Bahavas to meet with Hades. Helis was there as well. And so the Eclipse was born. Anything to win back home in your video. But Hades didn't care about Marty. And neither did you. We live in a world of fallen cities and vanishing <coughs> What were a few more? Besides, I was too busy setting up the cult's focus network to Hades' specifications. The thrill of a technical challenge, especially.
especially with the alterations I included of my own design. The ability for you to spy on Yes. I may have been foolish enough to seal the case, but I was never so foolish that I trusted it. I installed what the ancients used to call a back door in the network. Secret access, empowering me to monitor all activity and communications. <laughs> What made you turn on Hades? It certainly wasn't your conscience. Actually, I was troubled the first time I saw the Eclipse Rays an ancient war robot. With my technology. I questioned Hades about its intentions. A little late. Indeed. I'd already outlived my usefulness. When I completed the work on the Focus Network, Hades summoned me to receive my reward. The next moment, I heard it broadcast my kill order. I've been a fugitive ever since. So when did I come into this? Our path together? When Olin stumbled on you. System threat detected. That got my attention. A kill order against a savage Nora girl? Why would Hades bother with that? But then I saw that this Nora girl was wearing a focus and bore an uncanny resemblance to a great scientist of the old world. Helis moved quickly. I thought you were dead. But then I detected your focus inside the Nora Mountain. The more I observed you, the more convinced I became of your extraordinary nature. And usefulness. Through you, I could finally discover the secrets of the Earth. I vowed to do everything I could to ensure your success. The rest, as they used to say, is history. You've done terrible things, Silence. But you've also done what you could to undo them. I can't say you've balanced the scale, but at least you've tried. To be clear, Igor. I would do it all again. A few more safeguards, mm. perhaps. But basically the same. Really? So much for learning from mistakes. I've done all I can. From here on out, the rest is up to you. Take my lance. Fit the master override to it, and you have a means of injection. Then I just need to get mm. close enough to Hades' skull to stab it in? Exactly. Oh, no problem. Silence! Where will you go? <coughs> Elsewhere. <laughs> and everywhere. There's so much more to discover before the world ends. And all this? I leave it to you, of course. As it turned out, it was yours all along. I was merely trespassing. Oh, shadow of prophecy. An army is required. A 
Obey, and Meridian is yours. Of our obedience, you can be certain. Task is complete. Yes. The focus network is active. Built to your specifications. Check it yourself if you must. So that's all the uh, all the audio data point, all the hologram. We're still missing a few of the uh, text data point from Quest. Looks like we're about to get this new lance right here. That's not what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Yes. Oh, does it get rid of mine? So I lose my spear for this thing? That's fine, I guess. I guess I should go ahead and craft on another one of these, right? Yeah. Nice. I mean, so that is, um, oh, that's a stupid mistake. Oh, I hate that so much, man. I hate that. <laughs> Oh, that takes me off, man. Ooh. 
Oh, so here they are. So that's where the last of them are going to go to. That's cool. I'm gonna head down this way, and we are gonna. Uh, I'm, we're gonna make it down to the bottom of this cliff, make it to the next camp back here. We're gonna start by. Um, wow. Uh, let's start by. Um, I think I got everything on both. Yeah. Right, by heading back to. Uh, to the um the ruins over there grabbing our last thing or uh, that last armor I want to see what that's kind of like I'm kind of excited for that there's a part of me that hopes that it looks like a little bit a little it looks like a little bit so bad but that I feel like that would be really cool I mean, that would be also a really cool thing if uh, our last piece of armor was the armor that Sobek had. I have a feeling that's not what will happen, but that's fine too.
Okay, so this is dumb. So you got stupid crap like this that goes on. This is stupid. Dumb, dumb, dumb. This is dumb. I mean, stupid crap like this makes this game stupid. A quick way down. This will be where we end our game today, guys. Um, yeah, next time we're gonna flash back over. Yeah, back over here to the old bunker um, and do this ancient armory quest. And, um,. Then we'll flash back right up here and make our way down to Meridian. Yeah. Ending our, really ending the game over there. I mean, cause this is the last quest, the last big quest. So yeah, I mean, looks like we got three more of these journals that we need to, uh, I still need some time to uh, decode. I am looking forward to that, but yeah, um, yeah guys, we'll see you guys next time, see you guys, bye.